Joining us is the Mayor of the Swan Hill Rural City Council, Bill Moore. Bill, it's a pleasure. Morning, Fraser. How are you this morning? I'm very well, just trying to stay warm like I think a lot of people are this morning. Yes, minus one apparently out there. Minus one, and it sure does feel like it. Now, Bill, <laughs> we speak with you each and every week to find out what is going on in the Swan Hill Council area, and you've got more services opening up over the past uh, few weeks and heading into the future. Absolutely, Fraser. Yeah, we're finally uh, getting everything back on stream. Um, council offices uh, reopened last uh, Wednesday morning and uh, have resumed normal business hours. 8.30am to 5pm, Monday to Friday. Uh, people visiting the offices will notice a few changes there. Uh, they're the usual, uh, what's become the norm now for uh, for visiting uh, uh, shop fronts uh, to stop the spread of uh, coronavirus. Uh, this includes uh, hand sanitizer station, protective screens at customer service points, floor indicators to maintain social distancing and other signage to direct you around. Uh, there's a limit of 12 people in the reception foyer at any time at the office site. Uh, there and uh, of course regular cleaning is carried out there. Uh, council is preferring that customers use contactless contactless payment uh, if you possibly can. Um, we're also asking the community to please make sure they follow the social distancing measures put in place, make use of the hand sanitizer station, and be understanding if there's a wait to see staff to see a staff member. And most importantly, of course, Fraser, if you're not feeling well, as in every case now, please stay at home. Yeah, very important to stay home and, and ultimately keep everyone safe around the community. Now, speaking of those services, I said you've got the art gallery opening up as well. That uh, opened up last Friday. That opened up last Friday, Fraser. Yes, just in time for the long weekend. Um, similar to the Splat Street offices, the art gallery has made some changes to help protect staff there and visitors, of course, and the rest of the community who happen to uh, go down there. Uh, this includes a limit to the number of visitors to the different spaces within the gallery, and that'll be indicated down there. Um, the, the gallery is also requesting that this is register their name and contact deta- details to support contract tracing uh, if, it, if indeed we need to do that. Uh, again, social distancing measures down there. If you want more information, uh, ring the gallery on 50362430. And just in time for school holidays, the Pioneer Settlement will be opening up as well. Absolutely, Fraser. The old Pioneer Settlement uh, had a bit of a spruce up in the time uh, in the time that's been closed, so it should look fantastic down there. So it's going to reopen its doors on Thursday, the 25th of June, as you said, just in time for the school holidays. Um, waiting for the school holidays to reopen, the Pioneer Settlement means the site will be able to resume normal business hours, and the entire site and experiences will be available to visitors. This includes the paddle steamer Piap cruises, heartbeat of the Murray Laser Light Show. Blacksmith demonstration, vintage cars and horse and carriage rides. Fantastic, Bill. Well, we know you're busy, so we'll let you get back to it, but we appreciate your time. Thanks very much, Fraser. Fraser, have a great day. You too. Swan Hill Rural City Council Mayor Bill Moore there.